Okay, it looks like we have visual on YouTube. Can we get a quick sound check from track three, please? Looks like it's going to be okay, but let's just make sure. Okay, it sounds like we've got good audio, so I am going to go ahead and uh, pass it on, on to Elizabeth here. I'm on. Okay, hi everyone. How are you? Uh, it's great to be here and to have the chance to present um, as part of AAC in the cloud. Um, I'm excited to tell you a little bit about how you can help um, share your voice um, so that you can also help others get theirs. Offered a little clip from Lee Ridley, a really great comedian who refers to himself as the lost voice guy. He has this great little skit about the impact of not having one's own unique voice. Um, the skit's about speed, speed dating. All right, here we go. I'm Steve, by the way. What's your name? My name is Marie. Nice to meet you, Marie. You don't sound surprised that I've got the same voice as you. Just surprised on this. Time I can do is put a lot of exclamation points at the end. Apparently, there are tens of millions of people living with speechlessness due to autism, cerebral palsy, ALS stroke, brain injury, or even head and neck cancers. And until now, they've relied on generic voices that don't necessarily fit their bodies or their personalities. And as you know, our voices are not identical. We all have our own unique melody, pitch, tone, loudness, and even accents. Um, at Vocal ID, we refer to that as your vocal DNA. Um, when you hear someone talking, you can really tell and often know who it is before you even get a chance to see them, just by hearing them coming from behind you or um, down the hall. Hi. Um, to share it again. Should I start over as well? Sounds good. So let's see. Um, so you saw the video already. We'll skip through that. So um, I think what I was saying is that, you know, we all have our own unique voices, and they're identified by our melody, our pitch, loudness, our tone. And so we call that our vocal DNA. We refer to that as your vocal DNA. So I know that when I'm in a crowded room and I hear my kids yelling and talking, I can immediately pick out their voices just um, from who they are because our voices help people identify who we are and we identify with our voices. So currently, AAC devices come with a handful of generic voices um, that you can choose from to speak with, and, uh, but they completely ignore your own individual uniqueness. Creating a digital voice for an AAC device is done currently by having a voice actor go into a studio, and they record thousands and thousands of sentences, far more than the 3,500 that we ask people to bank into the voice bank. And after that, an army of engineers will descend on that voice, and they'll massage and tweak and make it so that it's and with tons and tons of effort and months of effort. And they'll make a good voice, for sure, and it's a one, but it's a one-size-fits-all voice. And um, that is the voice that you find on AAC devices. And we hear um, teachers talking about, uh, have, about having students in classrooms um, where sometimes two or three students have the same voice. And that can be tricky when, uh, especially if they're using eye gaze technology to, to communicate. Um, and creating a digital voice is also really expensive. It's been uh, rumored that the company that developed Siri invested $24 million into the technology and building that voice. Um, so that's why there are only a handful of voices that come on AAC devices, I believe. And so um, I think it's fun to play a little video for you to tell you a little bit about how Vocal ID began. Vocal ID's journey began with an observation at the 2002 conference of the International Conference for Alternative and Alternative Communication. And I 
recall walking into an exhibit hall, seeing a little girl and a grown man having a conversation using their devices. Different devices, but the same voice. Looked around and I saw this happening all around me. My name is Dave. My name is Kathy. I'm Julie. Individuals using a handful of voices. Voices that didn't fit their bodies or their personalities. Dream of fitting a little girl with the prosthetic limb of a grown man. Same prosthetic mm -hmm. voice. But I thought there had to be a way to reverse engineer a voice from whatever little is left over. Through years of research, we've discovered that even a single vowel contains enough vocal DNA to perceive the personalization process. We can take that sound and combine it with several hours of recording from a matched speaker to create her unique voice. Hi, my name is Samantha. This is my new voice. Sharing this breakthrough on the TED stage began a new chapter. A whole world of surrogate donors from all walks of life, different sizes, different ages, coming together to give people voices that are as colorful as their personalities. So in 2015, Vocal ID launched the Human Voice Bank initiative. The Human Voice Bank invites all English speakers from all over the world with all their wonderful accents to share their voice. And you can do that from the comfort of your own home. We have 20,000 voice donors who have recorded over 9.2 million sentences and hosted 350 voice guides. The more their voice, the better the selection will be. Hi. 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 How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? Today. How are you today? How are you today? See you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. What's great about the Human Voice Bank is that it allows for two things. It allows for people to share their voice so that other people who are speechless can use it in a, through blending, but it also allows people to bank their voice to preserve for themselves. Um, and that can happen because um, you may need it because of, uh, again, head and neck cancers or potentially being diagnosed with the ARS. I honestly think everyone should bank their voice, um, and I think so for several reasons. It's free. It does take a little bit of time, but it is totally free. We will archive and store your voice for you. Um, it will also, again, let other people use it, which is fantastic. Thank you, voice for yourself. We call that a legacy, a vocal legacy. The vocal legacy um, is there for you. If you ever need it, and if you need it, you find it for you. Um, it is always done in its original, unblended form. And the time that we blend it is when we create bespoke voices, but I'll talk about that in a second. So um, here's a sample of what a legacy voice sounds like. For yourself. The original recordings. The air is always cleaner in the mountains. Brothers and sisters don't always get along. Every now and then, you surprise me. The legacy by Vocal ID. The air is always cleaner in the mountains. Put on your sweater and let's get out of here. Giving your voice can change lives. The voice has been digitized or synthesized. You can definitely hear the original recipient in the digital voice. And uh, we've been able to preserve the essence of it, such as the pitch, the nuance, and I think, again, most importantly, the accent. So that's, I think, a great thing. Um, our, uh, what really distinguishes vocal ID and sets us apart um, is our bespoke voice. And in the bespoke voice, we take two to three seconds of sound, um, which we know again contains enough vocal damage to the personalization process. Two to three seconds of sound, 
and we search that human voice bank donors um, and we for a matched speaker and then we take the two voices and blend them together to create a bespoke voice. Globalization. Uh, Recordings of a matched speaker from the human voice bank. Please tell me if you don't understand what I am saying. Bespoke voice bank. If I feel happy. Here's a wonderful example of May's vocalization blended with two different um, voice contributors. One of them is Megan and one of them is Anne. And here's May. With Megan. Speak to my friends in my own voice. And again, May's voice blended with Aaron. I can't wait to speak to my friends in my own voice. Sounds equally unique, but again, includes Meg's own vocal DNA, but the clarity of both Megan and Aaron's speech. I have this little clip from Meg um, that was um, shown in BuzzFeed. Uh, it's uh, so sweet listening to her talking about her, the importance of having her own voice. My voice isn't me. It sounds like a robot. I want it to be me. It would be cool. And I'll sound like a kid. When we combine May's unique sound with recordings from her matched donor, giving your voice can change lives. We can create a voice that's uniquely May's. This voice sounds like Reality. One of the things that I love about our Human Voice Bank is that you can contribute your voice from the comfort of your own home. Um, the Voice Bank is the same for those who are sharing their voice with others as those who are creating a vocal legacy um, of, the, of their own voice uh, for possible future use. And to do that, you would go to vocalid.co and just click in the upper right hand corner and that will bring you into where you can set up your account. You would go to um, uh, in all your information, and once you've entered in your information, you'll be brought through a series of sound checks. And after the sound checks, you'll be brought into this recording studio. And if you look at the recording studio on the upper left hand corner, you have a little V for um, that will bring you back to your dashboard. In the upper right hand corner, you have the little hamburger. And if you click on that, you'll end up on settings certificates, tutorial, calibrate, and log out. Um, what's nice is to click on the tutorial because you'll be brought to a little video that will walk through sort of the voice banking process. This is where I, uh, where you are able to, uh, you know, this is the portal, I'm not even sure what to call it, but this is where the, the sentences will show up that we ask you to read. And it's a series of 3,500 sentences. And if you click on the actual sentence, you can listen to what we think it should sound like when you read it. Um, you click on record. I am banking my voice for myself and others. And then on record again, which is actually on a stop sign and stop. And you can get a chance to then hit the playback button so that you can listen to what it sounds like. And your recording should sound really crisp and clear without any background noise, without kids playing in the background, no dogs barking. If you need to, you can re-record the sentence by clicking on record again. That's fine, you click on that. And a new sentence will be presented to you for you to read and record. When you sort of get used to the system and you've done it a few times, you can really move between record and next, record and next. But again, I recommend every 15, 20 sentences to click on the playback button and to take a listen again, just to make sure that it is really, really good. Right now, the sentences that are being offered to you are random sentences. Um, but we are actually working on a new version of the Human Voice Bank, which is going to be really great because it's going to allow you to read um, a little uh, excerpts of stories or the first chapter of an interesting book. And if you are a budding writer and are interested in sharing some of your stories with us, go ahead and email me. We'd love to have you. Um, fun. I like this bit. And this is the periodic table of speech sounds. And asked to read and make up all the different sound combinations of the English language. And as you read sentences and bank them, the 
periodic table of speech notes, some of those singles will start to line up. And as they stay more and more lit, that means that you have those on For recording, you'll receive little certificates of um, completion, and you'll receive that at 500, 1,000, 2,000, uh, and then 3,500 sentences to complete corpus. And what's nice about that, I think, especially is for high school students who might need to meet some uh, requirements as it relates to um, community service, they can use this to, uh, to show that they've banked or spent seven hours banking their voice. Estimate that it takes about seven hours. Um, so that's what we, uh, what we present on here. And the new human voice bank, when we um, update the new voice All you need to contribute your voice into the human voice bank is a computer, a desktop, or um, if you're like me and um, Google Chrome, because that is the browser that our voice bank is compatible with. At Charles Beach Recon 50 headphones, because we know that will capture the app. And uh, if you do it at the printer stores, which we again recommend, give me a, shoot me an email, I will give you a discount code. Actually on our Facebook page. Um, and most importantly, a quiet, consistent recording environment. A uh, few start recording in the kitchen and then potentially move to uh, the living room because my kitchen is a lot more equity than the living room where I'm surrounded by sofas and pillows and they help absorb some of the sound. So when I sat down to record, I made sure that I banked from my living room sofa where I was the most comfortable. And every time that I was getting ready to record for another session, I, that's why I, that's why I talked down. Next, I want to show you two videos. The first video highlights Delaney. Um, it was produced by the Fast Company who came to Vocal ID to talk a little bit about the process and to meet and ask Delaney about her own voice. The um, second video is of John, who was diagnosed with ALS. And he talks a bit about losing his voice and the impact it had on his life. His voice before he lost it but we were able to build him a unique voice. I was so excited to get my own voice. I used to have a computer voice. So now I sound like a voice. And I talk more. To Delaney's mother, who said, there is just no going back from um, Delaney having her own voice. The ability to speak, to express yourself, is probably the worst thing about ALS. Recipients, the recording studio looks a little bit different because we're not asking them to read sentences, but rather we're asking them again for two to three seconds of consistent sound. So when they're brought into the bespoke studio, they'll see an ah. And we'll ask them to hit the record button and say, uh, and then you'll see the sounds, um, the recording slowly get uploaded over here. And then you would over here eventually see a little next button that you could click. It'll, ask, it'll give you a different sound combination like E or O. It's not so important, but more so that it is two to three seconds of sound. And once they've completed that process and um, that gets uploaded to us, oh, actually, if it's hard to produce sound um, command, if you will, um, you can record the sound maybe using your smartphone and then use the edit um, option to down to just the vocalization, and then that can be uploaded into our bespoke studio. And when that's all done, us and our engineering takes a listen to it, and then they go and reach back into the human voice bank and start looking for potential voice matches. Recipient will be presented with up to three uh, you can choose from to see which one they feel sort of best represents them. And when they're ready, they'll just select it and then confirm selection and send it back to us. And that is when engineering begins the real work. When the voice is complete, they'll receive a little message on their dashboard saying that um, 
their voice is ready for them to download and to use on their AAC device. And that is how, by you sharing your voice into the human voice bank, you help make this happen. are currently compatible on PRC, Toby Dynavox, and Smartbox devices, dedicated devices. And they can also be used on TouchChat, LAMP, and Speak for Yourself. Android. We have our own app, My Vocal ID, with which we bundle our voice. Um, you can also use it on NovaChat, GoTalk, and then, of course, on Android's own Type and Speak. On our efforts to build the largest, most diverse human voice bank for yourself and others. And if you do, feel free to share it with us. Um, and we want to hear about it and ask us to listen to it. Um, we're here to help. Um, and that is why we think you should share your voice in your voice bank. Let me know if there are any questions. Thank you, Elizabeth, for, um, for your session today. I think we are having some audio issues on the presentation, and she's unable to hear me, so I will uh, just reach out to her real quick. But I'm assuming that you can, so I'm happy to answer any questions. I'm having trouble hearing, but if there are any. Um, and if not, I will wish you all a very good How many voices have I banked so far? Um, oh, bummer that I'm going in and out. I'm just seeing some of this uh, stuff. Um, how many voices? I've banked my own voice, which I um, really actually like doing. I thought it was really fun. And if you want to listen to it, you can actually go to vocalid.co slash legacy and then listen to, if you, you'll see a drop down menu with some names and you can actually then take a listen to my voice. So hear me speak. People that have banked their voices, Isabel is asking how many people have banked voices, and we've had about um, 20,000 people share their voices. Very um, of, um, of completion, but, but it's really great to have so many people. We want more and more people, and especially with lots of um, different accents from all the different countries, because we all um, sound different. So English, Australian, British, Picket, and Long Island. Um, so, yeah. And, um, you know, you can Google them, Turtle Beach Recon 50s. They're about somewhere, you know, they range in between 30 to $40, depending on where you get it. And if you email us, um, I'm happy to send them. You, know, you can also find it on our social media feed, Facebook, and Twitter is where I posted it. Um, but you can, again, also just feel free to email me, Elizabeth at localid.co. An, and it's Elizabeth with an S, E L I S A B E T H. Um, I think that's it. Do we ever have any jobs out in the Boston area or remote? Well, feel free to email me, or and then I can see you direct and all of that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. Evening, or it's evening for, for me here on the East Coast. I think I will sign off and say goodbye if, uh, if, if that was it for questions. Cheers.